So here we have the pH scale again. On the left hand side we have acids, and acids have pH of less than 7. On the right we have bases, and they have a pH of more than 7, and in the middle at 7 is neutral, so pH is equal to 7. If you want to know the actual pH given the hydrogen ion concentration, we need to use the pH equation, which is the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration is pH. You need to write that equation in the box on your notes. So on this first problem, we're looking for pH, and they gave us the hydrogen ion concentration. So we're going to use our pH equation. So plugging it in, I just type in negative log and then 5.5 .5 times 10 to the negative 10th. And you get a pH of 9.26. Also, it says, is this an acid or a base? Well, the pH is above 7, so that means it must be a base. Go ahead and try number 2 on your own, restarting when you have it. So here again, they gave us the hydrogen ion concentration. We want to know the pH. So we're going to use the same equation. Typing it in, my pH equals 5. Since my pH is less than 7, it should be an acid. Go ahead and try this top one on your own. Restart when you have your answer. On this one, you needed to read carefully. It says the hydroxide ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 7th. My pH equation is the negative log of hydrogen ion. So first, you needed to use our equation that we learned in our previous lesson on water, and that's H times OH concentration equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Plugging in my hydroxide ion concentration, I can solve for my hydrogen ion concentration, and then plug it into pH. So my hydrogen ion concentration is actually 1 times 10 to the negative 7th as well. So plugging it in, I get a pH of 7. Notice only because this solution is neutral, being at a pH of 7, would my H and OH equal each other. So if you didn't do that extra step, then you, may, you were lucky this time, it did not affect your answer. But in all other cases, it would. On the bottom one, they gave us pH, and we're looking for the hydrogen ion concentration. So we know we're using our pH equation, but we're going to have to use it a little bit differently this time. First, we're going to divide both sides by negative 1 to get rid of the negative. And now I need to get rid of the log, so I can have hydrogen ion concentration by itself. You do second log on your calculator, which is 10 to the negative 4.2. So 10 to the negative 4.2 is my hydrogen ion concentration, which in this case is 6.31 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that's molarity since it's concentration. Also, this solution had a pH of 4.2, which means it would be an acid. Go 
Go ahead and pause the video and try five and six on your own. So on the first one, they gave you pH, you're looking for hydrogen ion concentration. So just as the previous problem, we have to do 10 to the negative pH to find our concentration of H. If you don't put negative pH, then you're going to get a giant number. All of your concentrations should be pretty small, as in less than 10. So we get 1.58 times 10 to the negative 13th molarity. And notice this one's less than one. The majority of them are gonna be less than one if you plug it in correctly. The bottom one, same thing. They gave us pH, we're looking for hydrogen ion concentration. So plugging it in correctly, you should have got 1.26 times 10 to the negative eight. Also, make sure that you're showing your work. If you just put the answer, that will not get you any credit. You need to show your equation and how you're solving for it, basically as my work is here. There's also pOH, which is the negative log of your hydroxide ion concentration. So here in this problem, they gave us pOH and the hydroxide ion concentration. So we can use the formula above to find the pOH. Plugging it in, I get 2.64 for my pOH. Go ahead and try this one on your own. Restart when you have your answer. So here we have pOH and hydroxide ion concentration. You should have got a 9.03 or E is an elephant. The relationship between pH and pOH is pH plus pOH equals 14. As the pH rises, the pOH falls. So in the problem below, we have pOH is what we're looking for, and they gave us the pH. So we use the equation above. So pOH equals one. Go ahead and pause the video and try the next one on your own. Same equation, this time pH equals 9.2. This one wants us to find the pH, and they gave us the hydroxide ion concentration. On the bottom of this page, we have the four equations that you know for pH. Notice that none of them have pH and hydroxide ion concentration in them, in which case you're going to have to use two equations. Which two equations, you have a couple of different options. The first and third one have pH in them. And the third and fourth have concentration of OH in them. So given my hydroxide ion concentration, I could use equation two, find my pOH, and then I would use the third equation to find my pH. Or, given my hydroxide ion concentration, I can use the fourth equation and find my H, and then the first equation and find my pH. 
Either way will work, either the purple or the blue. Go ahead and pause the video and try to find your pH using whichever method you want. You should have gotten 10.93. I'm going to go ahead and solve it using the purple method, using equation 2 and then 3. So my pOH is 3.07. And now I can use that third equation and find my pH is 10.93. You would have got the same answer or very close to the same answer if you used equation 4 and then 1. Go ahead and pause the video and calculate these three things. Restart when you have your answer. So on this problem, they gave you the pH. So I can use the third equation and find my pOH. So pOH is equal to 6.59. Now I can use the first equation and I have my pH, so I can find my concentration of H. So 10 to the negative 7.41 gives me concentration of H, and that's equal to 3.89 times 10 to the negative eighth molarity. And finally, for my concentration of OH, I can either use equation two or equation four. I'm gonna go ahead and just use equation two, but you could have used the last equation. So 10 to the negative pOH is equal to my OH concentration, which is 2.57 times 10 to the negative seventh molarity.